hello hello how are we all doing today it is a lovely friday while the sun is out it's a bit cold still but a lovely day to share a little video with you so i hope you're in excited to join along with me so what have i been doing i've been making a little page hanger um and i love how this one's turned out i've used this bit finally that's been sitting on my desk for days um a couple of scrappy bits some lace fabric scraps scraps background pages there we go i've got um two sides here uh got a little bit of fabric as well and yeah lovely little bit of um a thing <laughs> to go into your journal so um first of all it's got two parts to it. it it's sort of hinged and we've got some tags that you can put in there or postcards whatever you want any piece of ephemera really um, and it's all decorated on the front and on the other side as well and then it opens up as I say this is going to go over a page in your journal signature you can write a little message underneath there like that and it's going to go over your page now you could go and take a um, paper clip um, and attach it here so um, you know that's also an option or you could have it as a floating one as well and um, put a paper clip on the top of it as well so there are different ways but usually I don't actually use anything um, I usually just hang it over there over the page and it stays there because of all the other things that are in there anyway all right so I have put my journal here just to give you an example so let's just look for a page here quickly um so say over there for example you can take it like this you just open it up um you put it over th over the page like that and that's how it's going to look and it looks pretty on both sides so pr ideally you want to have a page that's blank on both sides and that's where it stays so um you know you can have it like that close it up and it's going to stay there but you can put a paper clip or attach a paper clip just to slide it and secure it in place on that page. All right, so that's what we're going to make today. Really, really easy too. Right, so let me show you what you're going to need. All right, so um, that's what we're going to do. I'll put it to the side there. Um, now, first of all, what you are going to need is something for the tag bit here. So something to put in there. I'm, for my next one, um, I've actually taken these from my mini journal. Um, I'm running out of ephemera, so I've used the mini journal kit for the Book Lovers Bliss. These two also came out of there. They're the postcards. And I've just added tabs on, which are also in there, um, to there and added the background page just for the mini journal, just to back it. So it's double the paper. That's all. Um, this is 160 GSM, so or 60 pound weight. There are thereabouts. So you're looking at about 120 pound weight or 320 GSM. All right. So that's what we've got there. So you want that. Then um, you want to grab yourself some kitchen roll. All right. I've clipped these together because that's how I keep them flat. I did run these through my. Um, embosser or my die cut machine um you can if you don't have one of those you can stick them under a pile of books or i usually just stick them underneath my sewing machine so that's what you can do there um but by putting them through the your embosser it makes them pretty flat all right so you you only need one to do this i cut it in half i've just got two here because um that's how i keep them flat as i say all right, so we'll get to that in a minute. So you want one of those. Then the other bits are as follows. So I've used for the inside over here somewhere to um, write. So you want some kind of a background paper that you will be able to write on. Then for the front over here, you want to have some background papers. So I'm going to use one of each of these. Now, this will the size of this is going to depend on the size of your kitchen roll. But basically, you want to have it so it's slightly overlapping. My kitchen roll is three inches when it's flattened. So this is three and a quarter, just short of three and a quarter. It's just over the edge there. And it's half the height of my kitchen roll. All right, so you want two of those. 
um, and that's for the front. This is for the back. You want some lace, some bits to decorate. Um, I had little bits like this that I was gifted and these came in handy. I cut them into sections and I've stuck one over there. So I'm going to use one of those. I've got some paper scraps here, which I have just made into little ruffles, paper ruffles. I've stitched them. You can just glue them if you don't have a sewing machine. Um, I've got two paper flowers here with two of the buttons from my buttons. I've pulled this out. It's like, it looks like a piece of washi. It's from my mini um, journal for the Baking Bliss. I'm just going to use this as a little piece of washi. I've got a die cut, just one. I've got two of the little butterflies that I cut out from two of the little elements in that mini kit, but they're in the other kits as well. Um, I've got one of the cookies, which I'm going to use. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, um, I've got a little sentiment there, a piece of lace and the fabric. So the fabric I use for the hinge is eight inches in length and it's one and a quarter inches in width. All right, so there are thereabouts. I might trim off a bit at the end, but I am going to fold it in half. If you've got two shorter bits that are four inches in length, that would work as well. All right, so that's the fabric I'm gonna use. All right, I think that's everything. Let's get cracking. All right, I'm gonna just put that up there. We'll leave that over there. And we'll start with this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna cut this in half. So, Let's get our pencil and our ruler and do that. Now, uh, this is, my one is nine inches in length. So I'm looking for four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. And I'm going to cut it straight in half. Just like that. So you want to either take your knife or your... Um, scissors or whatever you're going to use. I'm just trying to line this up here quickly. Have I got it straight? It looks a bit skew. I'm going to just draw a pen line there. I'm going to just take my scissors. Oh, my others are downstairs. I'm going to have to use these. All right, so you want to just cut these in half like that. Oh. So the first thing you want to do is stick on the background um, bits all right so that's what we're going to do i'm going to take my fab uh, fabritac oh that's why it's leaking let's just wipe that off on here i wondered why it was so glumpy and gloopy uh, it wasn't quite closed properly now i'm not going to go quite to the edge because i am going to stitch mine you don't have to stitch it um, well, let's not stitch it today. Let's not do that. Right, so I'm going to go straight to the edge here. Now, remember, um, it's going to go, this, this paper's cut slightly bigger than the, the width and length, or the width mostly, of this paper core. Right, so we're going to just take this like this. I do find it easier to look what I'm doing this way, so I'm going to just... Uh, I can see better like this. So you can see it's slightly bigger than um, the actual paper core. And then just take your bone folder and give it another press on those edges. Now, what I did with mine when I was finished, I did put it underneath my sewing machine. You can just put it underneath anything heavy, like a pile of box that works. Right. There you go. And then you want to do the same with this one. So we'll do that again. I do love making projects with these. Um, I do find it highly satisfying because, again, it's something that we would throw away. And I do get immense pleasure from recycling and repurposing things that would otherwise end up in the bin. So, yeah, hence my, my envelope fetish. <laughs> or pa paper bags, you know, I love those as well. Let's do another paper bag one. Right, so I'm going to get this on here. Right, there we go. And this side. There we go. So we've got that nice and flat there. Okay, now it's at this point that I add on my um, 
fabric all right so this one's slightly shorter there this one longer than the other uh, slightly shorter so I think I'm going to just cut off this edge here I obviously didn't measure as accurately as I thought I did but <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as they're the same yeah they're good right so we want to um, take our fabric now let's just get that right there so let's grab our little piece of fabric right so that's the wrong side so you want to make sure the right side is going to show on the outside. So I'm going to turn it that way and then I'll end up turning these that way. All right, so we've got our little piece over here. And what we want to do is we want to put some glue. Gosh, this is really messy on here, on um, the top here. So I'm doing it at about just short of half an inch, really, just to get that um in place all right so we want to go not halfway so now what i've done is i've got this lined up here where i'm gauging just by sight the halfway mark but we're not going all the way to the halfway mark you want to leave just about a quarter of an inch between the two so you don't butt them up against each other so i am going to go just short of a quarter of an inch be the gap between the two so when you um, fold it over you have a, a place for the other one to lie right so we've got that there i'm just checking on that side that it's straight and it is all right so now we want to do the same with this one i need to see in hd so i've got to put my glasses back on oh all these things Hope you guys are well and are enjoying all the videos i've seen the most wonderful videos lately we've been watching rach today rach you were with me the whole way i was prepping my video for today it was fun loved all your projects and i'm sorry you had such a sore throat i hope you're feeling a lot better now right now you want to leave that gap there so going between as i said just short of a quarter of an inch uh, like that uh, this is why I like fabric tack because it is forgiving. Right, so we want to turn that over a bit. I want to just move this a little bit more down. Here we go. It is fiddly. It is fiddly, but it, it gives you time to to do it. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to uh, fold this back, and again, don't go um right to the edge as i say we're going to end up sewing on there um you can just glue but i like to sew on this piece um and then i don't want to have a very thin piece here i want to have ample space to sew around there and then trim it back afterwards all right so we're going to put some more glue here and i'm not going right down to the edge of the fabric as you've seen because as i said i'm going to be sewing so this is just to hold it in place, the, the actual fabric itself. All right, so we've got that all done there. Okay, so now we want to meet that, with that, and that with that. There we go, and then hopefully we've got it right now it doesn't matter if it's skew we are going to cover it with our front decoration but you can see it's going to lie nice and it's going to be able to sit nicely so do that test before you go and stitch it all right so let's just get that nice and smooth okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um sew with my sewing machine and you don't have to if you don't have a sewing machine um, if you're not, just stitch, glue all the way to the top. I'm going to stitch along there. I'm going to go along there, across there and down. I'm going to go on the sides here and then I'm going to go there. So it's going to be like a rectangle. All right, let me do that. And then I'll show you what I mean when I, when I uh, return. Okay, so you can see I've stitched along there, just off on the side there, 
right along there and off there. Now all I'm going to do is, I've got my sharp scissors, I'm going to just trim that like that. Yeah, turn that around and trim this slightly. There we go. All right, so that's going to be our underside. Um, and I wouldn't worry about the frame. Um, that's now our hinge and it's going to sit beautifully flat. All right, once I've squashed it. <laughs> put, when we finish, we'll put it underneath a nice heavy pile of books or your sewing machine and you'll find it will be lovely and flat. Okay, so there we go. Now we can, we've got time to do the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, my two background pages now and I'm going to start building up what I want on these. So I've got these. These are cut from my mini pages. They're slightly uh, smaller than the background pages. So you can see about a quarter to an eighth of an inch there or thereabouts around the edge like that. And um, I'm going to put some other bits and pieces on here now. So um, for this particular one, I can't remember what, what I'm doing where, but it doesn't matter. Right, so just a, a few little bits. So I've got a little piece of lace like this for the one and a piece of lace like that for the other. So I thought I'd put this lace over here. Yeah. And then this piece I'm going to put... I think over here like that yeah and it doesn't matter that they're going to go over the side I wouldn't worry about that um, we are going to put our little bits and pieces on so for example um, I've got this little bit here that I'm going to put and it went a little bit over the cookie which is fine so that's why I took the next cookie and thought I'd make it a bit 3d by sticking it on top there right so that's going to lift it a bit then with this little strip here i just wanted to tear like a bit of washi like that just take this bit and i just wanted to add a bit of font there yeah and um i wanted to do the same over here so i'm just Tearing that off a bit and going around like this. I'm going to put that up there. And then um, this one I thought I'd have Bibliophile, a lover of books. So I'm going to move that up a bit. I'm going to stick that down like that. And I'm going to put a little butterfly there. And a butterfly there is that right yeah I think I'm gonna move that down a bit then I've got now let's do that so far all right actually I'm gonna move this to the other side so we'll put this over here like that so let's get that all stuck down right so the first thing we want to do is stick on this little lacy bit here so this, any little scrappy bit of lace that you've got, this is just nylon lace. And I'm going to just put some glue down there like that and let that just stick out. And then I'm going to stick this on top of it. Well, I wonder what you guys are going to be doing for the weekend. I am looking forward to the weekend. The weather's improving and I have seen um lots of daffodils out i've got daffodils on my desk um they remind me of string spring string <laughs> um i do feel like it's spring when i look see daffodils it, it tells me spring is definitely here so yeah i'm excited and with that i've got a spring kit that i'm going to be bringing out on sunday so i hope you're all excited about that so yeah um been working on this one now for weeks and really happy with how it's coming along so I'll share that with you on Sunday so look out for that other than that um, not much else that I can think of that I have planned for this weekend but um, weeks been busy been very busy but I like being busy don't you all like being busy so nothing wrong with being busy 
you know, catch up on some videos that I'm behind on. Um, but I do often have the videos on when I'm crafting, so I love to see what everybody's doing. And yeah, looking forward to the warmer days, what can we say? We've got this there, there we go. And um, we want to put on our little washi tape, so there we go, <laughs> little washi tape we just made. I actually like washi tape. I don't use it enough. I must um, get out of that habit and get it out. Right. So we've got a little butterfly and you've got to have butterflies. You know, spring is coming. We've got to have butterflies. There's going to be loads. <laughs> They're in the garden and I see the tree has um, got some green shoots on it, which is always a good sign. All right. So there's that one. Let's do this one quickly. So really easier this one. We want to just stick down this piece onto the backing. Now, um, what you could do, and I did this with my other one, you can stitch around this. So let me just stick this down and I need to cough. Uh, so we'll have this like that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, with this one, I went and stitched along there before I added any of the other bits on both of those. That's just an option. Um, I'm not going to do that today, but uh, you can. Right, so we've got this little bit here as well. So I'm going to go on to the, the purpley bit and love a bit of font, you know. Just finishes it off. I really like it. Any kind of text or numbers or anything like that is always a good idea. So we've got that one there. We'll put on a little bibliophile. We all bibliophiles, I think. So many of us are. Any good books that you're reading, guys? Let me know. Um, what am I reading? I never remember what I'm reading until I get to it because it's um on my audiobooks, you know. So I can listen to my book and I can craft at the same time. And have a cup of tea. And to me, that's utter bliss. I think I'm in heaven when I'm in, doing all three of those things. Right, so there we've got that there. Now we want to just stick on our little piece of lace. So I'm going to try and get it closer to the bottom. Um, I've just done that, so that's okay. And then I've got these little bits that I want to stick on as well. And then these, so we're almost there. Right, let's get the lace on, so... When you've got hand cream on, you don't really have much glue on your hands. Did you know that? That definitely does work. So I've been gluing all morning. I've hardly got any. So that's a good tip to know. It just sort of comes off easily. All right. So we'll stick our lace down there. Just above the bottom. Like that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And then we want to just take these paper ruffles. And these paper ruffles are very easy. It's just taking a piece of paper and um, pleating it. That's all it is. So I thought I'd put that one on there and the purple one over here. So I'm going to just, um, you don't have to stitch them. You can just glue them, each pleat down. Um, you know, that works. So don't take it too near the top, right? And then this one I did with a piece of wallpaper <laughs> that's lying in my tray. An old piece. So we just get that on the edge there. Right, so there, are, there is a lot going on here. I'm going to stick this white paper flower with a pink button from my button bundle. And those bundles are really great. I have a bundle coming for my new kit as well which I'm very excited to share with you. So I hope that you're going to be just as excited. So it's all coming in the next couple of days. Right. And that one's going on there. Woohoo! Right. We've got that all ready. That can go out the way. Gosh, it's got a bit darker now. Cloud is in the way. Right. Now, all you need to do is... See, that one went a bit awry, but that's okay because we're not going to see it. We're going to stick this down now. So you just get your glue out. Um, uh, I wouldn't go with the art glitter glue with this purely because you don't get that 
couple of seconds to <laughs> make the rash choices of where you think it should be. So I'm sticking with my beacon here. So get it close to the edges. And then we want to just pick that up. Now bend it down so you can see how high it needs to go and um, get it towards the base and then line it up with the piece underneath so you might need to just move it over slightly there we go all right it's just a piece of fabric all right so that one's good to go and then this side same thing so all glue you must have some fun this weekend take time for yourself um, and be good to yourself remember to nurture yourself if you don't look after yourself and make special time just for you without anyone needing you wanting you to switch off you're no good to anybody so please take good care of yourselves yeah, I often hear people say, I don't even have five minutes to myself. That's unhealthy. So make time, even if it is only five minutes, that's a good place to start. Everybody else will survive. They need you to be healthy and well rested so that you can be a better you. So that's my advice for you for the weekend. Right, as I said, when I'm finished, I'm going to put this like this and put all the books on top of it so it lies nice and flat. If you do that overnight, it's going to be absolutely flat. Um, right, so we've got lots going on there. All that we need to do now is put in our ephemera pieces. So let's do that. Right, so I'm, in this case, I've got the two tags. And I'm going to put the one in here, like that, and the one in here. There you go. Perfect. So I can come out a little bit. All right, so we've got that there and that there. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Oh, what I did cease to mention is when you're sticking these down, make sure you've got them in the, in the, in the right way up so you can see they're that way. So be mindful of that. All right, so th these are the right way, luckily, but I thought I should just mention it. I like that that little bit of lace is just peeking over. But what I am going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit more glue over there just so that it sticks. All right, how adorable are those? Yeah, go get out those scraps and the paper. You could, um, if you want to, I mean, these things are endless, aren't you? Aren't they? You could put a little pocket in there to hide a secret note. You could close that pocket there and slip this side and have the pockets going that way. But I quite like it going downwards. Yeah. All right. So that's our little project for today. Something for you to try for the weekend. I hope that you have fun and give this a go. A great way to use up lots of the scrappy bits and, you know, cut out pieces of, of the pages you haven't used. Um, yeah, you could make these bases and fill them with this and just, uh, you know, leave the front empty and come back to um, doing them for any journal. So it's going to look absolutely fine. And as I said, all it means is if you're wanting to put a, a paper clip in here, you can always attach a paper clip with a circle of um, paper, you know, a disc, slide it in between the paper clip and stick it on in the right place. Um, and that can work if you wanted to do that. But I, I don't need to think you need to. I think they will work and stay in your journal as they are. All right, everyone, go and save those paper roll calls um, and go and have some fun. I've got a whole container full. So, you know, I, I do love one of the, these kind of projects. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Sunday with all the exciting things to come. So take good care of yourselves and bye bye. Mm -hmm.